Hi, and thanks for joining me for another job search tip where we keep it short, simple, and specific, or KISS for short. In this video, I'm going to visit a virtual career fair, and I'm going to take you with me. I'm going to look at some of the features of a virtual career fair, and then I'm going to discuss some of the pros and cons of taking time to visit a virtual career fair. So let's get started. I found out about this virtual career fair from LinkedIn. And LinkedIn is a great place to look for different job search things. So first, I typed in virtual career fair. And when you do that, you will get a list of all the different things that are related to career fairs. Now, you can see that here it lists Canada, Alberta, which is a province in Canada, and that's because I am located in Canada. But you can type virtual career fair and then the name of your country, like USA, and you should get some more relevant results. For example, you can also type India, and then you can get virtual career fairs related to India. Usually, virtual career fairs are free for job seekers. When you receive your invitation for the virtual career fair, make sure you review it, because you want to make sure that you are eligible for the jobs advertised in the career fair. For example, as I scroll down here and look at my invitation, I noticed that employers are hiring candidates from Canada only. So if you want to find a job in Canada, but you're currently not located in Canada, perhaps this career fair might not be for you. Let's go to the actual career fair right now. I'm going to follow the instructions and I can see that I should click here to join the online event. And here we are. On the home page, here, I can see all of the employers that are participating in this particular career fair. There's a bunch of different ones, and it appears that there are 15 in total. One of the neat things is that you can click to actually chat with an employer. So let's go ahead and find someone that perhaps we can chat with. Let's see if we can chat with someone from Komatsu Mining. So I'm going to click on this image. And I'm going to click on the chat and I'm going to enter my information. And I'm going to see if they tell me whether or not there is actually an advantage to applying here in the virtual career fair as compared to from their career website. So as you can see by the answer they gave me, you can please apply on there, meaning their actual web page or website. I'm here more to answer questions on our region specific. So let's go for a moment to the Komatsu Mining website, which I have right here. And in fact, when you look at their website, you can see right at the top of the page, the career link here. And when I click on that, it takes me to the search for opportunities button. And in fact, I can search for opportunities anywhere in the world for this company because it is a global company. So if I zoom in, I can see where the actual jobs are offered. I can see that there is a bunch in Canada here, a bunch in the USA. And if I zoom out here, I can see other areas of the world like Australia and South Africa and I believe this is China here. So, in fact, 
here, oh, he also typed, we are looking for journeyman HD mechanics and machinists in this region. Now, let's see if I can see that information on their website. Let's go back here and let's see who they are looking for in Canada and specifically in Alberta because that is where the virtual career fair is. Let's take a look at Edmonton and it says two jobs. So journey, journeyman welder, field service, journeyman, journeyman heavy duty mechanic. And let's see here in this uh, area, electrician and welder. Journeyman HD, me mechanic and machinists. So the, uh, the information this person gave me here is exactly the same information that I could find on the company website. So I'm going to thank this person. Okay. All right. So as you can see, I didn't really need to participate in the virtual career fair in order to learn more about this company. Let's try another company. Let's see here. Let's go back to the main page and let's try classic building systems. And again, the chat pops up here. But I also pulled up the website for this particular company and I'm looking at this website and I don't see any career section here. Uh, sustainability partnerships. I scroll down because very often the careers or jobs offered section is at the very bottom of the company web page and I look here and I don't see a career section here either. In fact, this appears to be a smaller company. So in this case, by visiting the company's website, I would not have found out whether or not they are hiring. So here, it might be useful to find out what types of jobs they have available. So let's see if we can find out. So I typed, hello, what types of positions are you hiring for? And notice that every time I ask a question, I end with thank you. It's very good to be professional and polite. And it just might differentiate you from other people asking questions or from other applicants. And as we're waiting, another option that we have here is to visit Indeed. So let's go visit Indeed and we're going to see if we can find any jobs from classic building systems and they are located in Alberta and let's see here I quickly look here and I don't see any job postings from classic building systems. So let's go back and see. And as you can see, this kind person has replied to me. His name is William, and they're currently hiring for office administrator, intermediate accountant, window cleaners, and janitorial positions. So they have quite a few openings, which like I said, do not appear on their website because they don't seem to have a jobs or career section on their website. So this is very useful. Let's ask William what the best way to apply is. William has responded to me providing an email address to which I can send my resume and also to let him know what position I want to apply for and he would pass it along to the CEO. So this is very good. Let me thank William. He has been very helpful and very kind. Now let's see if this particular email address that he provided is the same as they provide 
on their company website. So I'm just going to scroll down the page and I see here it's info. So it's actually a different email address that he provided here. So overall, there is an advantage, it appears, to join a virtual career fair to get additional information from small companies because that information is not available apparently on their website. Now, of course, this is just based on my experience with one company here, but it looks like it could be realistic for other small companies. And then he asked me if there's anything else. I'm going to reply, thank you, that's great. Okay, let's take a look at some other companies here and see what things look like on their pages. So I just clicked on this company here and I look at this box here, look at this. They actually list the different open positions that they have and we can click on it. Let's click on IT Project Manager and we can see the actual job description here which is very useful because we can customize our cover letter and resume to this particular uh, job posting and its requirements. And we can close that and let's see, uh, let's see another company here and then look at this. They don't have the listed job openings like the previous company did, but all of them of course have the possibility to chat with a representative from the company. So that was a quick overview of one virtual career fair that I joined. There are many of them as we have seen on my LinkedIn page when I typed in virtual career fair and then you can add the name of your country or your state and your province to be more specific. But based on my experience here, I'm thinking about several advantages and several disadvantages for taking time and effort to visit a virtual career fair. Let's start with some of the cons or the disadvantages of dedicating your time to something like this. One of the disadvantages is that large companies, large uh, organizations, especially multinational and global organizations, post all of their job openings on their website. And as we have seen with Komatsu Mining in this example, they provided exactly the same information when I asked them a question uh, compared to the information that I could find on their website. However, if you do have specific questions about company culture or other questions that maybe you can't find on their website, a virtual career fair is a good place to ask a recruiter those specific questions. And of course, you might mention that in your cover letter if you're applying for a position with that company. The other uh, con or disadvantage here is if there is a possibility for you to send your resume immediately to the recruiter of the company, you really don't have enough time to customize your resume to that particular position. And if they're asking for a cover letter, the same situation. You don't have time to customize it. So as an example, William, the kind person who answered a couple of my questions for the small company, mentioned that they have several positions available and to send him my resume and he will pass it on to the CEO, which is great. But we really don't know the specific details of the open opportunities that they have. So whatever position they're looking for, we don't know specifically what qualifications they are looking for, what type of education or training or experience. Now, I could ask that uh, here online in the virtual career fair and I might get some answers. I don't want to do that now because it is a little bit time consuming, but that could be a drawback that it's often not possible 
to really customize your application. Now, let's look at some of the advantages or pros to visiting a virtual career fair. And there are a few. First of all, a virtual career fair is open for several hours. The one that I just visited is open for three hours and you can log in or you can uh, participate, you can take a look at some of these things, you can interact with a recruiter and based on the information that the recruiter gives you, you can then go back to your applications, your cover letter, your resume and customize them a little bit and then come back to the virtual career fair within the hours that it is operating. So that's a good thing. And of course, you can do that without leaving your home or your office. Another uh, pro or advantage is that you can get a good idea about all of the types of companies that are looking for employees or the industries that they're in. And when you're looking at the career fair and you're looking at the types of companies that are participating, it's a good chance that other companies in these industries are hiring as well. So you can Google those companies or you can do a web search and internet search for companies in that industry, in that state or province or country to see if they are hiring also. So it's a good indicator of demand in a particular industry. Another uh, positive thing that I've experienced here is, of course, the direct access to a recruiter. You don't have to phone anybody. You can simply type in your question and ask it and get an answer. And I think that is the biggest advantage and the biggest reason why it's useful to visit a virtual career fair, even if you only do it for a few minutes, is to have that interaction with a recruiter. And questions you can ask include um, what specific skills are you looking for in new hires? What uh, specific things would differentiate the perfect uh, person they're looking for? What qualifications? You can ask all of these questions directly to an online recruiter and get immediate answers. So I think that's a huge advantage uh, and a great reason to visit a virtual career fair. Another great reason is that you can quickly learn about small companies that are hiring for various positions who might not advertise these types of job openings on websites like Indeed or even on their own website because they may not have a jobs or career section. So I hope this little tour of this particular virtual career fair was useful for you. And I think I will conclude by saying that if you do have an opportunity to visit a virtual career fair, it's always a good idea to do so and to ask questions and interact with recruiters. And as always, if you have any comments or questions, please make sure to post them below in the comments section of this video.